this is not your average laptop. Sure, it looks pretty smart, but I can safely say that this is in fact one of the most exciting bits of tech I've used in the last few months. And the reason for this is actually pretty simple, because while this is, on the face of it, a very attractive laptop, it's very thin, it's light, it has a hinge that folds 360 degrees, it's got a pen, it's got a touchscreen, but all of this stuff you wouldn't normally associate with a work laptop, but this is in fact designed for business users. So we now have a laptop that you can actually use every day at work, but then actually take home and be proud to own, and even show off to your friends and family. We've all used those generic, businessy offerings before, and they're usually pretty grey, heavy, boring, mundane. So I think you'll agree that the Elite Dragonfly is a real breath of fresh air. HP is using the term lighter than air to describe the Elite Dragonfly, and with models available under one kilo, you can really see why. And carrying around a ton of bricks in your bag really is now a thing of the past. In fact, this thing is so light that I actually received my unit by drone delivery, and what experience that was. But don't go thinking that this has compromised the overall feel of the body though, as there's no flex here at all, you can see. Normally when laptops get thinner they get a little bit compromised in regards to rigidity, but not so with the Elite Dragonfly. You've got this lovely soft matte touch feeling to the whole unit as well, which is great. But my personal favourite thing is actually that you've got a fingerprint resistant coating on the whole body, which I've heard this sort of term before, doesn't normally work. Whereas this, as you can see, hasn't been cleaned and it looks and feels fantastic, so nice job HP. The size and shape of the Elite Dragonfly works great for everyday on-the-go use, though I should note that this screen is in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so it's not quite as tall as some. It operates on a full 360 degree hinge, which allows you to use this touchscreen laptop as a, well, laptop, or perhaps something a little bit more quirky, like a tablet or tent, which is really useful for those of you that are frequent flyers. There's also a smart pen included in the box, which is really neat actually, because while you can just use it for doodling or of course creating notes or creativity projects, I am unfortunately not very creative, uh, but you can use it for things like presentations as a clicker, or you can actually use it for controlling media playback and things. So maybe you want to, I don't know, have a house party and then you want to actually uh, control your music from afar and people will be like, how is he doing that? What's he got there? and this charges over USB-C in literally minutes. Very, very nice stuff. The really cool thing about this USB-C charging is that you can use the same charger that actually powers the Dragonfly to charge the laptop and the pen. There's two USB-C ports on the right-hand side of the machine, and both are equipped with Thunderbolt for devices such as high-resolution displays or maybe performance storage devices, and they're joined by a full-size USB 3.1 Type-A on the other side of the laptop. This is where you'll also find the power button, which isn't my favourite placement in the world, but it is required as this works in both a laptop and in a tablet mode, so I can't argue or complain. My favourite thing about the Elite Dragonfly though, other than the form factor, has to be with its display. And yes, it's a fantastic looking 1080p display, it's got awesome picture quality, but it's got something a lot more important up its sleeve, a privacy feature. There are three options available for screen types. One is a super accurate 4K panel, perfect for creatives. Another is a more accessible 1080p option, but the one that I've got here has to be the most popular, 1080p with HP SureView. Those of you that paid attention in physics class will no doubt already know how this works, but for the rest of us, the Elite Dragonfly uses a series of polarizing filters, similar to the ones that are in your sunglasses, to narrow down the viewing angle so that only you can see the screen. Everyone else will just see a darkened panel. And this is actually fully adjustable. So here it is with the screen off. Then I turn the privacy feature on and bang, look at that. It's very, very impressive stuff, but you can choose the level of brightness. So if you're working on something super, super sensitive, you can see that you just can't see that whatsoever unless you're looking right at it. It could be used for so many different applications. When I was working in an office back in the day, not that that was actually that long ago, there were loads of people in the finance department that were using these stick-on privacy screens that were just pretty rubbish. So to have something fully portable that you can take with you and turn on and off as required is fantastic. Lots of small things add up to paint a very pretty picture. With a keyboard offering plenty of travel for such a thin device, 
and they come fully equipped with a bright and uniform backlighting system. I've also got to shout out the sustainability aspect to this machine, as they're using recycled plastic that would otherwise end up in the ocean to make some parts of this machine, and HP are even committing to improve the amount that they use as time goes on, which is brilliant. Add to the mix biometric authentication with both fingerprint and face unlock, and you've got a nice little package. Oh, and for privacy conscious folks, there's even a cover that you can use to toggle the camera. Great for when you're working from home and are definitely not still in bed at 9.05 AM. Spec wise, we're looking at i5 and i7 quad core processors, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and then 512 gigabytes of super fast PCIe SSD storage. There isn't an option of dedicated graphics, as you'd expect in a frame this thin, but it all runs along like a charm. Grab an i5 variant if you're mainly going to be running office applications, or consider the i7 if you're going to be running something a bit heavier. The i5 in my review sample never toppled during my day-to-day -day use, and as long as you're using the Elite Dragonfly for its intended purposes, then you've got a very capable little machine in your hands. It's smooth, it's fast, and it's flexible. What's not to like? Let me know your thoughts on the Elite Dragonfly. Is this exactly the sort of laptop that you've been looking for? Are you using one of those dreaded work laptops that you only use when you really have to? Are you in the market for something like this? I'll be really interested to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this. I hope you agree with me that this is actually a really cool bit of tech. It's something a bit different, something that is genuinely quite exciting. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See you later.